Let's now look at the typical architecture for a substation SCADA system. Firstly, we have the remote control centre as seen previously. This connects via the communication channel to the substation communication room that holds all the panels that interface with the fiber optic system. This is where all the fiber optic communication cables are terminated. Connecting to the communication room, we have a local area network or LAN. This connects all the computer systems together inside the substation. To the LAN, we connect many devices, including the human machine interface or HMI. This is the PC or laptop that is used by the substation operators to control the equipment and monitor the alarms and systems. We then have additional equipment such as laptops and printers. It's really important for the SCADA system that all the events and alarms are time stamped so that we know exactly when they happened. To do this, we normally have a GPS time synced switch to which all the protection and control equipment is synchronized. We normally have a mimic control panel from which the operators can open and close the equipment and monitor any alarms that come up on the station. To connect the mimic control panel to the LAN network, we use a remote terminal unit or RTU. Remote terminal units or RTUs measure the analog and digital signals and convert them into data that can be fed onto the local area network. The substation local area networks and RTUs are a great way of collecting and processing the huge amount of data that is created by modern protection relays and allow the network operator to focus in on a single relay on one circuit to see what's happening with the voltages and currents. All modern protection relays also store historical data after the fault occurs. The operator can easily connect remotely to the faulted relay to find out the timeline of what happened so the fault can be quickly identified and the right action taken.